trick or treat. Treat. I don't have treat. I will show you a trick, okay? This is a mask. When you wear it, all the way here. Happy Halloween. Oh. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever time you are seeing this. I'm standing here at the Dubai Love Lake. This place is called Love Lake. It's for couples and uh, whoever has romance at heart. All right. So uh, I'm standing right here. And today I know it's Halloween. And I'm wishing you all a happy Halloween. If you're new here, I am your host, Nathan Philip, And you guys are watching Nicks and Inns. Today, let's quickly see the history of Halloween. We all celebrate Halloween, but how many of us really know the history of Halloween? Even though Americans celebrate it in, uh, in its full style, it did not come from there. It, it started from Europe, uh, some parts of Ireland, United Kingdom, and some part of other European countries were celebrating Halloween uh, some 2000 years ago. Celtic people used to celebrate this festival to mark the end of harvest and the beginning of winter, uh, the change of season. And winter in Europe is always considered as a bad time of the year, uh, especially a lot of deaths, depression and so on. Like it is a period of uh, darkness, you know, so that's how it has been celebrated. And as they celebrated the Halloween, it is again uh, to mark a new year called Sowin. Uh, it is a festival of the dead as well. So the community of Celtic believe that by invoking the presence of the dead spirits, they are able to predict their future and probably they were, they were looking for some answers. So in fact, Halloween is all about marking the end of harvest and starting a new season called Songwen, which is again called the Feast of the Dead. Nowadays, many of us think that uh, bats are a symbol of Halloween and probably it must be the fact years ago too when Celtic lit bonfires, bonfires would definitely attract bugs and bugs would definitely attract uh, uh, bats. So, bat is some sort of a scary or uh, devilish or I don't know what to say, like it is again, bats are considered as a symbol of evil spirits and uh, again spirits, you know. In 1700 and 1800, women used to uh perform rituals during the halloween to find a good husband there are a lot of uh, myths revolving around uh, uh, halloween festival and uh, you know people believe that if a bat rests in someone's house a man will die and if a bat fly across a woman will die and uh, during the halloween uh, all the devils are out there even today people believe that halloween is a bad day and especially in christian community all the religious people believe that Halloween should not be celebrated because it will give a lot of powers to the evil spirits and they can conquer men and they can uh, cause a lot of ruin and damage here in this world. I don't know all these uh, facts, but I think it is a matter of uh, community gathering and people just celebrate by saying uh, treat or trick. So, you know, it, can, it is a matter of just coming together and celebrating this festival. And there is a history behind it. And people definitely used to worship uh, uh, spirits. And uh, they, they used to mark this day as uh, the day of the dead. So how you perceive it is absolutely on you. So, but I don't believe that uh, during this day, uh, evil spirits are coming out looking for their prey. But it is again a fun festival, right? So let me know what you think about this on the comment box uh, and I will see you soon with another interesting video. Now if you wish to see our latest video on uh, the horror stories of Bermuda Triangle, you can definitely watch here. Your card will just pop up here and if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, consider subscribing. See you soon.